Hey guys, my name is Maysam and in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a recycler view in Android. Basically, a recycler view is useful for when you want to show a list of different items. For showing different items, you have other options as well, one of which is list view, but recycler view has much more flexibility than the list view. Recycler view is also more memory friendly than list view. For example, if you want to show a list of different items, the recycler view will create the views only for those views that are showing at the screen and maybe for few items before and after the list that is going to be shown to the screen. It means that it's going to create different views for different items whenever they are needed. In order to create a recycler view, first of all, we need to insert the recycler view dependency into our Gradle file. I have prepared the links, you can find them from the Android developers official website. You can go to this link from up in here and you can search for recycler view from this uh, right menu. This is the dependency that we are going to use. Copy that into your Gradle and build module app this one in here let's add that dependency before everything i'm going to say implementation single quotation and paste that dependency before we sync our project i'm going to add two more dependency into my project and we will see how we can use them first of those two dependencies is card view we will talk about it and we will see how it can be useful Let's add that into our project as well. Basically, we are going to use card view in our project in order for our items to have a little nicer shape. We will see exactly what I'm talking about. The last dependency that I'm going to insert to my project is called Glide. Glide is an image loading library and it's useful for when you are going to show different images, for example from internet, into your project. You can find the Glide dependency by searching for it and this is the GitHub page. You can copy the dependency from here. We also need the annotation for Glide as well. Let's copy those two and let's paste them into our build module app. After adding these three dependencies, it's time to sync our project. The first thing that we need to do in order to create a recycler view is to create a layout file for every item that is going to be shown inside our recycler view. For that, I'm going to come to this resource folder, into this layout folder, and I'm going to create a new layout file. I'm going to name it Recycler View List Item. Let's switch to Text View. In here, first of all, I'm going to change this constraint layout to Card View, the dependency that we have added to our project. Also, I'm going to change this attribute in here, this height, to Wrap Content. We don't need the match variant. The items that I'm going to show in my recycler view are representing some contacts with an image, also a name, maybe a number. The items that I'm going to show in my recycler view are representing some contacts. They have an image, they also have a name and maybe a number. So let's add those. First of all, I need a relative layout. Let's say match parent and match parent for height and width. First of all, let's add the image. Image view, let's say 150 dp and 150 dp for the width and height. Let's give it an ID, image let's say, and also for the time being, let's add uh, some placeholder. I can say source and I can use this IC Launcher background, which presents in my project by default. Okay, let's add the name and number to text views in here. Text view, wrap content and wrap content. For the ID, I'm going to say name. For the text, for its placeholder, let's just say name. 
I'm also going to change the style, the text style, let's say bold, let's also change its size, let's say 18 SP. Let's also move this name to write of our image, to write of ID image. Also let's add a margin, uh, let's say margin 10 dp, that seems to be fine. Let's add another text view. I think I can copy this one. We need to change the name to number, the placeholder to number as well. We don't need this text style. And after everything, we need to move it below our name text view. Let's say below our name. Okay, that seems about fine. Let's press Ctrl Alt L in order to reformat our code. I'm going to add two more attributes to my card view and we are going to see how they change the look of our card view. The first one is card elevation. This one, let's say 10 dp. It's not showing well in this preview, it's basically going to give some 3D shape to our card view. We will see how does it look at the runtime. The next attribute is corner radius. This one in here, card corner radius. And this one will give some radius shape to our card view. Okay, that's all I need inside this recycler view list item. The next thing that we need to create is an adapter for our recycler view. The purpose of this adapter is to fetch different data, for example, in this case, different contacts to our recycler view itself. I need to create a new Java class for my adapter. I'm going to do that in my package. New Java class. Let's call it recycler view adapter. The first thing that we need to do inside this adapter class is to create a class called ViewHolder and it's going to be an inner class. I will talk about what the purpose of this ViewHolder class is once I have created it. This class needs to be public. Let's say public class. I'm going to call it ViewHolder. It needs to extend from RecyclerView.ViewHolder, this one. But at the time, we are getting some errors in here, and that's because we need a constructor for this class. I can right-click in here, I can select Generate, and I can select Constructor. Basically, the purpose of this ViewHolder class is to create different views for every item inside your Recycler View adapter. By view, I mean the layout file that we just created, this Recycler View list item. This class is responsible for creating every layout file for every item inside our recycler view. But we need to change this class a little bit. And the change that I'm going to do in here is to initialize all the items inside my recycler view list item layout. I can say private image view, let's say image view, and also private text view. We had a name and also a number. Inside this constructor in here, I need to initialize these UI items. I can say image view is equal to, I need to cast it to image view. This casting in here is not necessary in the latest version of Android, but I got used to it somehow and uh, it's not going to harm us anyway. I can say image view. And since we are not inside an activity or a fragment, I can use this view that has been passed to this constructor. I can say item view dot find view by ID, and I need to pass the ID of that image view inside my recycler view list item layout. I can say r dot id dot image was the ID of that image view. Similarly, for my two text views, I can say name is equal to text view item view dot find view by id r dot id dot name let's do the same for our number 
in most cases that's all we need to do inside this view holder class and we don't need to do anything else after creating this view holder class we need to extend this base recycler view adapter class from recycler view dot adapter and inside the diamonds I need to pass this exact class I can say view holder you can see the package in here which is my package org.mako.recyclerview.recyclerviewadapter I need to address this exact inner class that I just created but once again you can see that we are getting an error in here and in order to overcome this error we need to implement some methods I can use this red light bulb in here in order to implement uh, the three methods that we are going to need or alternatively I can come to the declaration of this class and press Control i before I go further and work on these three different methods I'm going to ask you to subscribe to my channel and hit that like button if you like this video if you haven't already it's going to help a lot with the YouTube algorithm okay let's continue on before we talk about each one of these three methods I'm going to create a new Java class representing uh, my different contacts basically this is going to be the model for my contacts let's call it contact inside this class I'm going to put a name a number which I'm going to save in a string and also an image URL private string image URL I'm going to create a constructor you can right click and click on this generate or alternatively you can press alt plus insert once again we have this pop-up menu and I'm going to select all the three fields for this constructor let's also create the getters and setters for this model as well once again I'm pressing alt plus insert in order to pop up this menu getters and setters for all the three different fields that's all we need inside this model let's move on before working on these three different methods I'm going to create an array list of and that model that I just created I can say private array list of kind contact let's call it contacts is equal to new array list it's very important that you initialize your array list stuff in here if you don't you will definitely get some null pointer exceptions so don't forget to initialize your array list stuff in here after this array list I need another member variable in here as well and that's going to be a context private context let's call it context basically glide library is going to need this context in order to load different images from the internet I'm going to receive this context from the constructor of this class I can press alt plus insert and I can create the constructor this time I'm going to receive only the context now that we have this array list and this context let's start working on these three different methods I'm going to start with the easiest one with this get item count basically as its name applies it's going to return the size of items that are going to be shown in this uh, recycler view basically it's going to return the size of this contacts array list so in here instead of returning zero I can say return contacts dot size that's all I need to do inside this method for some reason recycler view needs the count of the items that are going to be shown and uh, we are going to return it in here okay let's move on the next method that I'm going to work on is this on create view holder as you can see the return type of this method is a view holder which is exactly this class that we have created down in here so this on create view holder method is going to create different view holder objects for each one of the items that are going to be shown inside our recycler view and the way you create those view holders is like this first of all we need to create a view object I can say view view is equal to we are not inside an activity or fragment 
we can say get layout info later instead we can say layout info later with a capital L dot from in here we need to pass a context which I can use this view group that has been passed to this method I can say view group dot get context and after that we have our layout inflator basically this layout inflator is going to inflate different views and the way that is going to do that is by calling dot inflate method we need three parameters for this inflate method in here the first of which is the address of the layout that we have created at the beginning of this video I can say r dot layout dot recycler view list item after that we need the view group that has been passed to this method I can say view group and after that I can pass false let me talk about these two parameters in here basically these two parameters in here are useful uh, for attaching your layout file to its root may it be the activity or the fragment we are passing false in here as attached to root and that's because whenever we pass the view group as the second argument in here it will be automatically attached to the root as you can see in here it is the root and passing true in here would be redundant so we don't need to pass true in here we can pass false as attached to root that's all we need to do in order to create our view object let's just finish our sentence and also let's add some enters in here in order to see the code better after creating our view object we can create an instance of this view holder I can say view holder this one that comes from this package view holder let's call it holder is equal to new view holder like defining any other class in Java and I can pass my view object as simple as that the last thing that we need to do is to return this holder don't worry about this onCreate view holder method if you didn't understand all the concepts in here basically this is going to be exactly the same each time that you are going to create this on create view holder you can even copy and paste this code if you need okay i think this video is getting a little bit long in the next video we are going to start working on this unbind view holder basically this is the main method inside every recycler view adapter and also we are going to instantiate our recycler view object inside our main activity as well so if you don't want to miss the next video please subscribe to the channel i'm going to upload contents every day on my youtube channel and also if you like the video please uh, hit that like button it's going to help a lot with the youtube algorithms okay that's it for this video thanks for watching and see you in the next video thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did i have 100 more hours of content like this in the format of a course on my website to this day 30,000 students have enrolled in the course and i believe if you want to learn android app development in a professional manner you would check the course at makeo.org beside android app development there are a lot more courses from me and other professional instructors on the website like java python hacking and different kind of marketing which you can check if you are interested. See you guys in the next video.